Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and I am a K-6 music teacher and today we are doing our third video in our distance learning series and I'm gonna talk to you about all my favorite websites, apps, extensions to use for distance learning. So my very first thing that I'm gonna talk about is if you wanna film yourself, there are some things that I think are gonna really help for just easing the process and also getting the best quality that you can. I, you know, we're not trying to be movie stars here, but you know, just to up the quality a little bit for your students. So here's what I recommend. First of all, make yourself a cute little backdrop. Not necessary, but if you wanna do it, go for it. Just make a cute little bulletin board. I just made one straight on to my wall. I just used command strips and it just kind of made it feel a little more official. I just took some stuff off of my walls from school and brought it here and just slapped it on the wall and it just makes a cute little backdrop. The second thing is getting something called a diva light and I have a humongous one. I'll put it here and I love it, but it is a little pricey and you do not need that. There are these little selfie uh, like claw clip things you can like clip on to a table or something like that or even there's ones that you can just clip straight on to your phone. So it doesn't have to be super crazy, um, but it just helps the lighting like I have it right now on. It just, you know, it gives you a little bit of a glow. The third thing that I find really helpful for filming is having some kind of tripod. So this one like has extended legs and you can make it pretty tall. And then I have one that's like a little bit smaller. And also this is really important. A lot of times tripods don't come with a phone um, adapter. I don't know exactly what oh, <laughs> would call it, but it's this thing, phone holder. A lot of times the tripods are just gonna come with this because it's made for a camera that's just gonna screw on. So also make sure you have one of these. And the last thing I suggest is an outline, just like you do like a lesson plan for, you know, when you're teaching at school, it's kind of the same thing. It'll keep you on track and keep you from, you know, like word vomiting and <laughs> getting a little lost in what you're saying. All right, number two is uh, the site called Giphy. So there, or Jiffy, Giphy, Jiffy? However you say it, G-I, P H Y. Uh, there's a site where you can look up GIFs and you can insert them into your Google Slides. I find it really helpful though. I mean, of course you can just do it for fun, but um, anything that I want the kids to click on, I am so tired of making like an icon or writing into my Google Slides, click here to blah, blah, blah. Whereas I can just, um, copy and paste from Giphy like a thing that clicks it shows a little clicking sign and I can just drag that to wherever I want the kids to click and I don't have to type it out anymore so that was a big game changer for me three is this emoji extension so as I am typing out comments to students or you know messaging with them I just think it's fun to add in some emojis um, I love that I end pretty much every time when I text somebody, I end with like an um, exclamation point and a bunch of emojis. I like to be expressive. So I found an extension on Google that you can download. And then what it does, is you just add it to your Google Chrome and then at the top, it'll be there and you really easily can copy and paste your emojis into your comments and they actually do show up. Number four is voice memos. So voice memos specifically on your laptop or your computer. I used to do a lot of like being a music teacher. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I need to read or sing to them or I want them to hear something. And so I've been using adding audios into my Google slides. Audio is still not quite perfect on Google. Uh, it just has some issues. Sometimes it doesn't play, sometimes it won't share properly. So I would still be cautious of using audio in your, or inserting audio into your Google Slides. But if you wanna use it, use voice memo on your laptop. So what I've been doing is I am like, have been recording into my phone and then airdropping it to my computer. And then from there, inserting into the audio into my Google Slides. But you can just cut out the middleman just do it on your computer and then you don't have to another little tidbit with voice memo is make sure when you are sharing that or uploading that audio into your google drive that you just make sure to, in order to do that voice me or memo is kind of weird because it doesn't say like export your audio or save as you simply just have to drag it down and put it on your desktop and that's how you like save it or export it so it's kind of tricky i 
I think I'm sure voice memo will probably fix that as things are as people are using it more um, but yeah just a little tidbit because that really threw me for a loop at first I didn't know how I could export the audio number five is a background remover this has been all over Instagram all over TikTok, and it just opens up so many possibilities indoors so as you are making these distance learning things a lot of times people like to you know put their bitmoji in there and that's amazing but you also could do a picture of yourself and you which kind of is tricky right now because like if I took a picture of myself right now I would have all this background in it but I actually can remove that background and then put it onto my Google Slides and you just see me you don't have this like background um, stuff so it, it really lends to doing and that just like I did not do it justice like explaining it but it, there's a lot of really cool possibilities when you can remove that background and number six is screen recording so using QuickTime uh, there's a lot of great extensions that you can use and I still like those but I just like using good old QuickTime QuickTime is really easy to use all you do is open it up you press file and then there's a start screen recording and you can do the, your audio and record your screen and it's just really really simple to use so I would definitely use that I use it a lot for um, singing along with a song so if I have like an image up that I want them to see the solfa that I'm singing I can use my mouse to kind of like track where we're singing and then I can sing in to and it will track my audio and so it's just a really nice way of making like a little sing-along but you don't per se see your face I don't know about you guys but like I like being in front of the camera but I also don't like being in front of the camera and so I think it's really exhausting constantly doing something where you have to like you know be, you don't have to beautify but you know what I mean like you just always seeing yourself on camera it can be a little exhausting so screen recording is a really nice way if you need to kind of help your kids in a certain way and you don't always have to have your face in it number seven is TikTok. you guys I thought TikTok at first was just dancing and funny videos but it has really turned into, I'm learning how to like cook on like so many different recipes. There's just a lot more like learning pieces of TikTok, which is really cool. And I have found so many great educators on there that are sharing distance learning tips that are just blessing my life. So you guys check it out. My three favorite, let me see. My three favorite are Cook in the Classroom, Mrs. Walter's World, and hey Ashley G, they all share amazing distance learning uh, like digital tips and I really like it. So I would check them out. So that is it for this video you guys, really short, pretty quick. This is my last week of actually like putting out lessons and then we have one more week where it's kind of like a spirit week and end of the year kind of celebrations. And then I am on summer, I am probably gonna put out a few more distance learning digital tip kind of videos just to you know keep putting things out there because I'm not sure if this is gonna be the end I, I have a feeling that it's gonna be part of our life for a little bit longer so I'm gonna put things out to help you guys and just things that I have come across that have been really helpful thanks you guys for watching this video like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye 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 that was too much